So this is sample preparation for ASTM 6496. Imagine this would be a full roll of GCL, uh, 20 foot across or so. And uh, what you do is you would take a uh, sample from this material. It's typically roll width, three foot, uh, a meter across the entire roll width. Then you'd take the coupons out of uh, this material, and for this particular test, we'd take five coupons evenly spaced across the roll width. These coupons uh, would look something like this, and now we have to prepare the specimens from that. Please realize the coupon will have to be marked in regard to uh, machine direction. We then go to a clicker press. Uh, the clicker press uh, uses uh, steel dies. This one is 100 millimeter by 200 millimeter. You're benefited greatly by using uh, cardboard underneath and then click out the specimen. And here you see the press has come down. This is a machine direction specimen. We've trapped the uh, GCL in the die. Uh, we then will extrude it and now we have a 100 millimeter by 200 millimeter specimen. Okay, we've cut the 100 millimeter by 200 millimeter uh, specimen out, uh, the cardboard backing. We initiate peel by a uh, sharp knife or a scissor. You cut the, the fibers connecting and then you'll peel away the material. You have to expose uh, 50 millimeters on each side for the textile. And this is peeling apart the material to ultimately get five specimens in the machine direction with uh, 50 millimeters. This is 100 millimeters across. Uh, here is the 100 millimeter mark. And this gives you an idea of the uh, peeling apart of the material to initiate preparation of the specimen. We're in the mechanical lab back in GSI, and now we're, uh, we have the specimen. We prepared the specimen, and this is how the specimen looks. We've placed it into these box grips. Uh, it's on the continuous rate of extension machine. It's ratcheted in. This is 100 millimeters or 4 inches across. We're going to run it at 12 inches per minute, or 300 millimeters per minute, and here you go. Uh, it's rather quick test. It also makes a mess. You see a lot of the uh, clay uh, pouring out. Sometimes you'd like to have a vacuum, uh, a wet vacuum. So you're vacuuming the material up. This is the peel strength of the material. Here you see the clay being exposed and uh, the specimen running. It's giving somewhere in the neighborhood of about eight to uh, 10 uh, pounds peel across the four inch specimen so uh, therefore you'd uh, back out around uh, two to three inches or two to three uh, pounds per inch. You'd like to run the uh, test until uh, separation of the top and bottom layers as you saw here and then stop the test that's the test. ASTM D is in David, 6496 GCL peel for the GRI GCL3 specification.